In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a company ID card design in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have added the image of the employee. You can add your name here and the position and you can add the company name here. And then I have added the ID number, date of birth, email, blood group and the mobile number and I have added the QR code. Uh, you can use any website the link is provided in the video description section to create the or to generate the qr code and the employee signature comes here so this is the front design and the next slide i have made the back design where you can add the company name at the top and again the employee name the position here his join date his or her join date expiry date of the card and if you want to add further details you can add the details at the bottom and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link it is also provided in the video description section and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to design and i'm going to change the slide size click on the slide size and select custom slide size and from the drop down i'm going to select the custom and width i'm going to give as 2.125 inches and the height i'm going to give as 3.375 and the orientation uh, select portrait and click ok then go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes i'm going to select a rectangle i'm going to cover only one part here you can see here shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to insert shapes i'm going to select a right triangle draw the right triangle shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any color and then i'm going to rotate it you can see here i'm going to rotate flip horizontal so it looks something like this then i'm going to cut this one uh, this right triangle from the triangle so what I'm going to select, do is select this one, hold the shift key, select this right triangle, go to format, merge shape, and then just say subtract. So you end up getting a shape, something like this. Then right mouse click edit point, and you can see here there are four points, so two points at the bottom. I'm going to choose the one and just make it something like this and drag it down. And here also, I'm going to make it something like this. So you end up getting a shape something like this now i'm going to duplicate and add it to the other side so select this press ctrl d to duplicate go to rotate and i can just simply flip horizontal and just put it here the other side and make sure that it is properly aligned all right so now let me just select both the shapes under format go to merge shape and then just say union so you end up getting a shape something like this all right so now let's add the same shape at the bottom so i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to give some different color and later on i can change the color and rotate i can just make it flip vertical and put it at the bottom something like this now i'm going to select this shape and i'm going to reduce it you can see here something like this i'm just going to reduce it and then i'm going to add one more shape at the background for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle i'm just going to cover the whole slide shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give orange color and then send this to back all right and this color i'm going to give some a dark blue color any good color combination also you can choose it you can see here whichever color which you feel better you can choose it and for this i'm going to fill a white color so you end up getting a shape something like this now if you want you can add a few more shapes at the bottom also and the top now i'm going to select this shape press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to give some light color and later on i can change the color and i'm going to just place it exactly on the top of that then go to insert shapes and i'm going to select only this part you can see here only this part i'm going to select and then i'm going to choose the rectangle the this shape and hold the shift key and select this rectangle merge shape and i can make it in intersect so you end up getting a shape 
something like this and this one i can give any yellow color or different color also and then i'm just going to rotate it to flip horizontal or let it be this one and i'm just going to reduce the size you can see here let me just increase it here and then i can just send this to back so i'm getting a shape something like this or if you want you can further reduce the size you can see here so you end up getting a shape something like this or if you want you can increase it further something like this then i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to rotate it flip vertical then i'm just going to bring it the other side you can see here and then just send this to back let me just increase it and i'm just going to increase it further so depending on my requirement i can just do something like this you can see here so i'm getting a shape something like this now once this is done i'm going to add the the photo or the id card image here so here i'm going to add one uh, circle go to insert shapes select the old shape hold the shift key so that you get a perfect circle here and exactly put it in the center shape outline i'm going to give it orange and you can increase the weight also something maybe this much size and shape fill maybe you can make it uh, white and uh, then you can add the photo here to add the photo you can right mouse click go to format shape go to fill and under picture or texture fill click on insert and from a file which is uh, on your pc you can just select the path and you can insert the photo there so you can see here i've added the image here and if you want to do some further modifications also let me just reduce the size of this further you can see here it looks something like this then let me just add the name here go to text box and i'm going to type your name here and i'm going to make the font color as white and font any good font you can choose maybe i'm going to choose um, roboto let me just reduce the font size maybe 10 or 11 and you can make it center align you can see here i can make it further reduce to 10 you can see here and at the bottom here just below the name you can add the designation so go to insert or i can just select this press ctrl d to duplicate and go to home and reduce the size to 7 or 8 and you can add designation here designation or position whatever you call it you can just add it here exactly at this place and then if you want you can add the company name also for this i'm going to just duplicate this and i'm going to add the company name if you want you can make it bold reduce the size also or if you don't want you can just leave it blank also this place so let me just move a little bit down and then what i'm going to do here this part i'm going to add the details like uh, ID number, employee ID number, date of birth, uh, all the different uh, information, you can just add it here. So let me just add this information. You can see here, I just have put uh, this one, ID number, date of birth, email, uh, blood group, and the mobile number. And if you have the QR code, you can just uh, copy the QR code here. And if you have some barcode also, you can add the barcode at the bottom and if some other text also you can just add the text here so this is the front design ready and uh, the similarly we need to do the design for the back side so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this right mouse click and duplicate the slide you can see here the photo will not be there i'm just going to delete this one and i'm going to bring this company name on the top and going to change to maybe yellow color you can see here and all this information also going to go and here i'm going to reduce the size of this let me just make it or i'm going to reduce it maybe this much size and here also actually i want to increase the size of this so that the more text can be 
occupied or can come here all right and here you can add more details so just let me just move this uh, and reduce the font size and maybe the company font i can increase it and this also i'm going to reduce the font size all right and then you can add more details like you can see here i've just added this one the join date you can just add the date here what's expiry date of this id card and if some details or some rules and regulations you can just add it here and i have just put if prop if uh, the property of the company found return to or something uh, some information you can just add it here so you can see here this is the front design and this is the back design and if you want to use this qr code there is a link provided in the video description section you can just download or you can just go to the website and create your own the qr code and just put it on to the uh, your id card design so once your design is ready the text all you have added there what you can do is you can just save this as a pdf file and directly you can either print it or you can give to the printer they can print it so i can just go to the file save as and i can just go to you can see a pdf file there and i'll just go into click the save button so that the pdf file will be saved and you can just print it and you can use this for as a id card for your company